Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's still me. It's still Jackson. I just look a little bit more fabulous than normal, if you, if I do say so myself. I'm gonna be looking at myself a lot during this video, but anyway, let's move past that. Today, <sighs> did you just yawn? Are you yawning right now? Did I get you to yawn? Focus, focus. We're talking about being tired. And, you know, this might be a tired subject, but you know what? It's okay. Let me tell you about me. I, when I get tired, it's mostly physically. It's not really, like, mentally all that much because, like, I have so much energy during the day. I'm just like, Rah! and during at night, I'm like, Rah! and it's just kind of like, I'm kind of a lot. And, like, although my body is sometimes like, <laughs> my brain is like, yeah, like I just said, you know, when am I going to find real adjectives to use? Let's just say my brain is very active, but you know what? You know what I do love about being tired? It puts you to sleep. <laughs> like, okay. So like, although I don't like going to sleep, it's so great. It's so, I, I, if I could not, if I could choose to not sleep and have energy and be healthy and all that, oh my god, would I do that? Hello, I could get so much done if I had an eighth day of the week, let me tell you. Um, but like, in reality, seriously, if I didn't have to sleep, Mary, I would be so much happier. Good thing is though, when I fall asleep, it don't, it don't even feel like sleeping. I think what my body does is like, I have so much energy and I use it all the time. And I'm like, ah! that when, like, I finally, like, hit the pillow, I'm like, Bleh. because my brain is, like, I think it, like, tells myself I'm not tired, even though I am, which is great. But, like, there are some days where I get pooped. Pooped at the gig. Let me tell you, like, sometimes I'll overwork myself, and I don't really realize it. I'll be getting, like, five hours of sleep or less for, like, a constant period of time, working a lot doing this a lot, like, blah, 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 just constantly busy, and I don't really, like, feel it, which is, like, good, but then I crash. Like, I went 11 years without being sick. I went from first grade to 12th grade without being sick at all. 2022 rolls around. It says, hello, hi. Um, and literally, COVID in January. I get sick again in May. I get sick again three times in October. I think it was October or November. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Five times in a year? That never happens to me. And you know why? Because I was tired. I was burnt out. I had a stress. I had stress. Believe it or not. How about this, though? How about yawning? What's what's with that? Oh my god. What's what's with yawning? Who started that? Like I think if I've heard like correctly, yawning is like a social thing. It's like kind of being like who's like paying attention to you, who's like around you, who's like connected with you. It's like when I yawn and like someone in the room yawns, it's like we're kind of like paying attention to each other. We're kind of on the same length wavelength. You know, I think it's a social thing cuz humans are social creatures. Um, you know what I mean? I don't think it's like, um, cause what does it do? You know, it's not like it helps us like regain energy when we're tired. It's not like, you know, there, there has to be, there has to be something, but I think it's kind of cool that we've existed for like thousands of years. And like, we still don't know that kind of thing. Mary, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, we didn't know about plumbing. Hello. What's with that? Hello. Like, can you believe, I, I can't, was it 300 years, I don't know, 300, 400, some, some years ago, we didn't know about plumbing. So, of course, we're not going to know about yawning, know about yawning. Am I in focus? But it's, like, crazy. Like, we have expanded so much. I know I'm kind of getting off topic, but who gives a fuck? Um, we are growing so much. Like, even from, like, 50 years ago to now, hello. Okay, I keep saying that too much. Whatever. Fuck off. Can you imagine the future from now? That's a tired subject. I love this wig. I got this wig over a year ago now, just about over a year ago. And it's, you know, it's not a incredibly realistic, but it's, 
it's mostly the color and the style and the length and the ugh that I just love about it. It is a lace front. It's not human. But, like, look at this. Look at that. It's, like, like almost like I'm a real girl. Almost. No, I was trying to recreate this makeup look that I did, like, a year ago. And it's, like, this very, like, black, smoky eye. But it's, like, intense. And it's, like, full coverage makeup. Full glam. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna put that on the internet now. And now the internet knows that I fart. Women, too, do fart. Yes, this is true. All the rumors are true. But anyway, me just talking to myself, you can just kind of see how my brain just goes, like, 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 think of, like, you know, an orbit pattern? And, like, people, like, like, think of a normal orbit pattern. And then think of, like, when two things are orbiting around each other, like, in space. And then they just, like, go off the rails. Like, let me, let me show you. Like, here's one object, here's another object, and they start going, whoa, 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 whoa. That's how my thought process goes. <laughs> and sometimes, just do, do this sometime. Think in your head, like, if you're going, like, from, like, A to Z in your head, like, you, you start thinking about babies, and then next you're thinking about zebras riding ponies. So, think about that. Be like, how did I start thinking about that in this short of time? And, like, go back. Oh, it was from that thought to that thought to that. I like to do that. And it's like the origin story of like your thoughts and stuff. Do that sometime. It's really fun. You know what? Some people don't have internal monologues. Isn't that crazy? I clearly, this is, this is what my brain sounds like all the time. Just talking and talking and talking. And if I'm not talking, I'm singing in my head. And if I'm not singing in my head, it's like partial phrases going in and out. It's like, when was the moon made? How did I... How did I lose your leather? How did it? And it's like, just random, random. Oh, a booger almost came out. It's just random shit. And half the time, it's not even like full thoughts. Like I'll be looking at the road color and then I'll be like tree. And you know, it's like up. I think it's up that it's like squirrel, squirrel. That's my brain, but it's like everything around me and like everything that's happening. And it's kind of funny because I try to do these videos and I try to stay on subject. But especially, like, I'll just kind of run out of what I have to say about it. So I, so I just start going on about random things. Yeah. Can anyone else relate? I don't know. Can anyone else relate to how gorgeous I am? Ooh. Is this illegal? Is this illegal to have my leg up here? Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Don't talk to me. Anyways, I like the color red. You know, I used to have a phase in my life where it was just like, well, I still, okay, let me tell you about me. So I grew up loving black, still love black. Black's my favorite color. Ooh, used to wear it all the time. Used to wear a cloak to school, a black cloak to school. Was allowed, was not allowed to wear it in school. I just walked to school in the black cloak. Anyway, so I loved black for a while until like first grade. And then I had a red stage. I was like, yeah, red. And let me tell you about me. So I will go to Walmart. I went to Walmart once only. Joking. I went to Walmart. I used to go to <laughs> I used to go to Walmart and just buy in bulk black sweatpants, black shirt, five of the same ones, plain, no design. It was simple, it was easy. My parents knew how to shop for me, and I just wore black every day of the week, all day. Didn't have to think about it when I woke up, great. And then I had a red phase. About a year, I just did the same thing. Walmart red shirt, Walmart red pants, work. Buy in bulk, be done. And then I got over it and I, wa I went back to black. And then from my like second grade to seventh grade, I wore all black and then I decided, I was like, yeah, I wanna look straight, I wanna look hot. So I decided to branch out, which by the way, just because you look like a straight man doesn't mean you look hot, okay? Because, you know, some of these straight men don't even clean their ass. Don't even wipe their poop shooter. Like, Mary, we don't even have to get into that today. That's another topic for another day. But anyway, so I would, like, start buying from, like, Hollister, which actually I still buy from now. So I can't really say too much shit about that. But anyway, I was buying, like, jeans, <sighs> khakis. Mm. Mm. I do not wear khakis anymore, let me just tell you that right now. Um, and just like boring basic shirts and all that. 
And then my fashion evolved into, oh, it was like alternative boy. It was like um, crew neck with like a white collar. It was like ch checkered pattern chinos and um, black jeans, maybe, you know. It was getting it was getting a little less straight and a little bit more. I'm trying to be straight, like um, like hidden e boy hidden in the back of the class, listening to like what Paramore. I don't even know. And then I started to like. So it was that for a bit, and now here we are. Now we're back in my black era. I I want to bl wear black like almost every day. Although I did branch out and I bought clothes that were black and red and white. Okay. Uh, and, um, so yeah, I just, I just love black. And I saw Wednesday recently, the show on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, you're probably living under a rock. But anyway, and she inspired me to wear more black. She did. I was like, oh, I kind of want to be like that again. And like, even though I still w wore black a lot, like it just made me want to wear it more. And yeah, honestly, if I were to like, when I have a house, there's going to be a lot of black in there, Mary. You better believe it. You better believe there's going to be at least one room with black walls. I don't know what the outside could be. I think a black house on the outside is pretty sickening, though. But the thing is, you probably have to paint it a decent amount. Like, um, you know, you probably have to like, um, paint it because like the sun. The sun's there. It's just gonna like dry it up. It's just gonna like change the color. One time, my sister had this little peace sign that she made. She like cut it out of black um, construction paper and she like drew on it to like make it look like fingers. Anyway, you know those little um, things that you put on your um, uh, dashboard in your car and they like go when it's like um, when it, like they're solar powered and they go just as a decoration. So she put, this is going back to the other thing, she put the peace sign, the black, did I say cardboard? Black paper, construction paper on it. And um, she put it on there and made it go, instead of like the stupid flower that was on there before. Very creative, very fierce. And um, that sun went, hello, and eventually turned it yellow. She turned that shit yellow. You know, if I could change colors with the tap of my finger, I would, honey. Everything would be rainbows, okay? I'm joking. Let me tell you. I'm gay. I hate rainbows. <laughs> I hate it. And I don't think I'm the only one on this sub. I mean, I just told you how much I love black. But, like, I, j I will never wear anything rainbow. Ugh! I don't have a pride flag. I l I'm, be I'm gay. I, I love being gay. Whatever. I don't have a pride flag. I don't have pride merch. I don't have any of that because I'm like, ugh, who cares? At this point, I'm like the Republicans who are like, girl, it's not your whole personality. Give it away. Shut up. You know? <laughs> I mean, I mean, hey, if you hey, that's on you, whatever. I a girl. Suddenly I've become homophobic in 11 minutes. That was very quick. But, um... But yeah, do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm not the only person who's like that. I think I have some friends that are like, yeah, I don't wear gay shit either, Mary. But some people, hey, I have custom. I have a customer at Starbucks. She wears, like, these rainbow glasses. Fierce. I have these other, like, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't think it looks bad. It's just, like, the rainbow flag doesn't go together. Roy G. Biv, she's not a, she's not a coherent color scheme, okay? It feels like some of the other flags, like, I think the, the real gay flag, the one that's, like, blue, it's, like, dark blue and there's like a pastel blue and there's like a white in there that's like kind of aesthetic oh my god let me tell you i love the lesbian colors i think it is orange purple and white i think something like that Ugh, i love those colors together and asexual mary 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 purple black and white i purple's my second favorite color hello look at the wall look at the wall and there's the white, and there's the black. Oh my god, call me ace. I meant, I was pointing here, by the way, not my face. So, it would, ugh. If it was that, mama, and I was asexual, I would wear that color scheme all day long. I would wear that flag. I would have that flag. I, you know what I mean? I just hate the rainbow color. Ugh. Brr. I also don't like pink. My least favorite color is probably pink. 
I know that's probably a shock to a lot of you because I'm gay. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, my favorite color, it goes black, gray, nope, black, purple. Well, maybe red's beating purple right now. It, it changes. My favorite color changes a lot except black. Um, does yours? Comment below. Black, red. Honestly, purple's fading away. I don't really like purple as much anymore. Black, red, orange, yellow, maybe then purple. I love a dark green. I love a specifically, like, dark green. Or, like, I love, like, a neon kind of green. Like, ooh. This glows in the dark, by the way, which is kind of fierce. I got it for, like, Halloween time. It's like Starbucks. <laughs> And I actually use it for once. Typically, like, I'll buy a cup. You know, Starbucks has all these, like, pretty cups, and I, like, want to buy them. And then I'm like, wow, I'm never going to use these. Like, th I only use this because it's right by my bed, and I'm too lazy to, like, go up and get water. But, like, I don't bring this anywhere. Like, I don't really go anywhere. Like, if I'm going places, it, it probably has water. I'm either going to a restaurant, I'm either going to work, or I'm either going to see a friend. And we all have water, okay? Very lucky. Um, but yeah, isn't that crazy how old water is? Can we test that? Like, I, like, did you ever hear as a kid, like, you know, we're just drinking dinosaur pee, it's all recycled. Cause it's like, cause like the water cycle. <laughs> like, okay, so this is how it goes. If you don't know, we, the water goes from the sewers after we use the bathroom into the sewers, into those little places. I'm a great teacher, by the way. Canals, oceans, and then it gets evaporated. Suddenly it's ASMR. Back into the sky, woo, and then it rains down again, and then it's water again. So, do we create new water ever? And if so, why don't we create it in places that don't have water? Is it undrinkable? I'm sure we can create water. I don't know. And I wish we could test how old water was. Like this droplet from 100 million years old, you know? Just like your grandma. I don't know about it. There's so many unanswered questions. You know what though? Here's the thing. Knowing things is great, but let me tell you, Mary. If I knew everything, I'd probably kill myself. Who wouldn't? Come on. You know everything in the universe. What are you going to do? You know what's going to happen. You know what happened. You know how everything works. There's no point to life. I don't think. I mean, like, being all-knowing, I don't know. <laughs> That's ironic. I didn't even mean to do that. What would be your favorite su What would be your superpower? I think my superpower, if I were to choose one, one and only one would be transforming. Because let me tell you, you can transform. Like, say you want to be invisible. Okay, become a fly. Boom, you're invisible. Say you want to learn how to fly. Be a fly. Boom. Maybe the superpower is just being a fly. No, I'm joking, because you'd be squashed in a minute. How about that, though? That would be like, maybe you're about to get squashed and then you just turn into like a bear and then like the fly swatter hits the bear and then you like kill him you know what i mean easy easy you just have to have a good reaction time if i were to be any animal though mary i would be an owl hello they don't have like a lot of predators first of all second of all they don't have um teeth i'm joking most birds don't do they have teeth i don't think they have teeth they have beaks how did that okay how do uh, owls and birds eat shit? Like, do they just... So they, like, peck it. But do they, like, peck it finely? Or do they just, like, eat little chunks at a time? Or do any birds have teeth? I think some... I think, like, maybe a couple species has to, right? Because everyone's so diverse nowadays. You know, everyone's so diverse. And I think that's great about the 21st century. I have lots of questions in this video. This video is just turning into how, what, where, who, why, bit that. Um, look at this lip color, though. Fenty Beauty Mama. Look, transfer proof, I think. Nope. <coughs> Hello. Fenty just lost millions of dollars, okay? 
I'm kind of having fun. Um, how does gas have? How did I get gaseous today? I literally all I had today was a tomato mozzarella. Mozzarella. I love Italian cuisine, like spaghetti on a Thursday night with your lovers. Just terrific. Garlic bread on Mondays. Oh my God! Every meal. I'm telling you. No. Um, I had a tomato mozzarella sandwich, and then I had another sandwich, a ham and Swiss sandwich. Um, with uh, on rye bread. I love rye bread. I could eat rye bread out of the bag. You think I'm joking. You think I'm joking, and I'm not joking. I could take a bag, a loaf of rye bread from the store, take a slice out of that bag. No toasty. Plain. No bar, no toasty. Plain. And eat it. I've done it before. I'm not kidding. I've literally sat down, loaf in my lap, one slice of rye bread. Seeded rye, by the way. I, I love the seeds for some reason. I'm so weird like that. I'm just, I'm just quirky. But, um, and I've eaten rye bread on its own. It's so good. Seeded rye. But, you know, the rye bread at the, at the sandwich place I went to, it wasn't, it didn't taste very much like rye. It just kind of tastes like normal bread. And they gave me a pickle. And I did not eat that pickle. I have to be in a certain mood to eat a pickle. You know what I mean? Like... I can't just, like, eat a pickle every day. Well, maybe I can if you know what I mean, okay? But, um, but yeah. I, I used to fight over the pickle juice. I did, and I will be the first to say it because you were not brave enough to say it. I'm joking. I'm sure a lot of people have done that. People are so hit or miss on pickles, I think, but I think most people like pickles. <laughs> I'm just, like... This is my thought process, you guys. This is how I think. And it's kind of incredible, but it's kind of terrifying to think that I have this much power. Anyways, I think I've got to wrap it up before I just go completely off the rails. Am I right? Am I right, okay? So thank you for listening to whatever the hell that was. Because it was not... What was the original topic of today's video? Tired. It was being tired. Woo, I got tired of talking, didn't I? Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. This is my magazine smile. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. That wasn't a voice effect. True magic.